now you are going to create a, a Google App Engine application and deploy it uh, on the Google Cloud project that we created earlier. Uh, before doing that, we're going to need to uh, uh, download and install. You're going to search for, let's say, Google App Engine SDK, okay, Google App Engine a Software Development Kit. Then you're going to click on, let's say, download the Google App Engine SDK over here. Okay? Then uh, in this case, we're going to download the Google App Engine for PHP version, so not for Java, it's for PHP. Okay, for PHP. So you can download the version for um, Windows or Mac OS and so on and so forth. In my case, I already uh, download and install. And mine uh, is for Mac and it's installed here. So you're going to click on this to launch. Okay, this one is called Google App Engine Launcher. This one, you're going to be able to uh, create a new uh, apps. You're going to be able to run the app locally and you're going to be able to deploy the app um, 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 to uh, the cloud. So in this case, uh, we're going to create a new app. Actually, in our case, uh, we should uh, add existing app, but then because we don't have the uh, existing app, we do have the PHP website, but then we don't have the uh, Google App Engine app, so you cannot do this one. But I'm going to create this one just to get the jump file or the configuration file. So I'm going to create a new app. This one is just like the test one. Okay, so, but but uh, mm, it's going to be easier. It will be easier if we create the test with the same app ID. So we're going to go to our uh, console cloud again. Then click on home. So our app's ID is this one. So we're gonna create that app ID. Okay, we'll create that app ID. Okay, and you can create it anywhere because my purpose of creating this is just to get the job file. So uh, just create a new app ID over here. Then you're going to choose the PHP version. Remember to choose this PHP version. Then the admin port is this one and the uh, port is this one. So website port is this one. So we're going to create this uh, application. But then we don't use this application actually. So uh, I'm going to just let's say uh, file uh, edit. We're going to open in Finder. The things that I need from here is not the app itself. I only need the uh, uh, jam file. So I'm gonna just copy this one. Then I'm gonna move to our website. Okay, so our website is in here. Then it's in mem folder. htdocs, our website is, or let's go to our NetBeans. Okay, and we have our projects over there. So I'm gonna paste our uh, uh, configuration uh, website over there. Okay, then right now what you could do is that just forget this one, delete it. Okay, so you go to remove the application. Okay, remove that. Now we're gonna do file uh, add existing applications. So you cannot browse to our uh, application there. Application. It's in mem folder, then htdocs and our uh, SMS project, I think. Okay, is it? Is it SMS project? Yeah, it's our website with SMS project. Let me see, check what is that one. Yeah, it's uh, SMS project. Then you're gonna choose that, okay, and you add our application. And now we have our application added over there. Okay, we have our application added over there. You could try to run this one locally and see if it works or not, but I'm not gonna try to run this because I could run it with this already. Okay, I could run this with this already in Advent. So I run this already before, earlier. It works now locally. And now we're gonna uh, deploy it by just clicking on the deploy uh, button. However, this one is important. We for deploy it uh, to the uh, clouds, we need to uh, do the configurations. Okay, we need to do the configuration so that uh, 
so that it's going to be able to uh, work configuration for, for, for this one. Then uh, we're going to click on the edit over here to edit the app.jump file. So this one, this one is this one is the uh, ID of the application. Okay, this one is PHP version. Okay, this one is API version, and uh, this one is for uh, the icons. And we are not dealing with icons, so you can uh, safely remove it. But so far, all the URL are going to be mapped to main.php. You'll see from here. You'll see from here our process. The file is index.php not main.php so we're gonna change this into index.php in the future i'm gonna explain more about the handlers here okay for google App engine php handlers i'm gonna explain more about this but so far you just change this app.jump file and check it to index.php so all the url are gonna be mapped to one single page which is index.php we're gonna close this one and get back to arrows. Then, again, before deploying, we need to change our uh, uh, connections. So, uh, in order to use the connection, the host right now is checked to null. Uh, the user is root. The password so far is empty. You can go to that here. Okay, you can go to that information for SK and just keep this one and make another one here okay so well, one is for our uh, API okay another one is for our uh, SQL so click on this one we'll go to SQL okay our uh, SMS instance then uh, we're gonna have the information about the uh, database over here okay the information about the database over here. Okay, so we're going to get back to this. The app, uh, uh, we're gonna see the uh, access control. Okay, you will see the information about the users. Okay, so far we have the root users, and you can check the password here if you would like to. Okay, you can check the password here if you would like to. But so far, we'll just keep the uh, password as empty. So put it as empty. The database name is still student DB. The port right now is null. You don't use the port anymore. The subcut is, is important. You need to change the uh, subcut into, let's say, Cloud SQL. Then, then you're going to go to the instance name. So you're going to go to instance name, so SQL instance name. So let's just go to the overview, okay? Then the instance name is here, okay? Instance name actually consists of the project name, then your uh, SQL instance name. Copy this one, okay? So go, go to, again, go to that instance, click on overview, go down here, go to instance connection name, copy that, okay? Copy that. Then you're gonna go back to our just okay. Copy and paste that one here. See. So now you have your um, configuration done. Okay. The chain configuration. Then now you're gonna deploy. Okay. Click on deploy. And for the first time of deploying, it's gonna ask you to um, do the authorizations or uh, looking. So I'm not looking with my account. Okay, allow that. Okay, authorization flow is complete. We get back to the launcher. Okay, and see the deployment. So starting the deployment, checking the deployment. Deployment successful. Okay, that's good. Checking is uh, the app is serving. Okay, it's successful and exits with no errors there. So we're gonna get back to our. Uh, Apps. So we're gonna click on this menu, click on API Manager. Okay. Uh, be, uh, okay. We're gonna click on. Uh, I'll put, let's say click on home. This. And we have our projects there. Where's that? Let me see. Click on. Um, App Engine, sorry, okay, click on App Engine, and once you click on App Engine, you'll see this one is a link to the website that we uploaded, okay, 
Okay, and click on this, then click on App Engine. Okay, and here is a website, a link to the website. We're gonna click on the link to our website, and you see our website successfully deployed on the Google Cloud, and now it successfully loaded it up. Okay, so this was done.